A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There was an attempt in Iconium by both Gentiles and the Jews together with their leaders to attack and storm Paul and Barnabas. They realized it and they fled to the Laconian cities of Lystra and Derbe and to surrounding countryside where they continued to proclaim the good news. At Lystra, there was a crippled man, lame from birth, who had never walked. He listened to Paul speaking, who looked intently at him, so did he had a faith to be healed, and call out in a voice, Stand up, straight on your feet. He jumped up and began to walk about. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they cried out in the communion, The gods have come down to us in uniform. They called Barnabas Zeus and Paul Harris. Because he was the chief speaker, and the priest of Zeus, whose temple was the entrance to the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. For he, together with the people, intended to offer sacrifice. The apostles Barnabas and Paul tore their garments. When I heard this, they rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Men, why are you doing this? We are of the same nature as you, human beings. We proclaim to you good news, that you should turn from this idols to the living God, who made heaven and earth and sea and all that is in them. In past generations, he allowed the Gentiles to go their own ways. Yet, in bestowing his goodness, he did not leave himself without witness, for he gave you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons. He filled you with nourishment and gladness for your hearts. Even with these words, they scarcely retained the crowns from offering a sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name we give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. Because of your mercy, because of your truth, 
Why should the pagans say, Where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in heaven, whatever he will see us. Their idols are silver and gold, the handiwork of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. Heaven is the heaven of the Lord but the earth he has given to the children of men. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever has my commandments and observes them is the one who loves me. Whoever loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Judas not the Iscariot, said to him, Master, though what happened to you that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered and said to him, Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our dwelling with him. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words. Yet the word you hear is not mine, but that of the Father who sent me. I have told you this while I am with you, the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. He will teach you everything, and remind you of all that I told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So it has been, I believe, going on eight probably into the ninth week since we've had this kind of stay at home. And unfortunately, for all of you who might not live kind of south of the church, you might not have noticed it. But having driven by here many times a day and many times a week, there was a gesture that was made, and I have to believe it was by a family, and they cut out pink hearts and they stapled along the trees all the way down the block. The reason why it made mention to me is that I thought it was really cool that it was like an aisle of hearts of just love. And on some of those hearts in a particular street, there were messages on there of, we love our neighbors, God bless our fellow neighbors, God bless our home, God bless our families. It was very neat. However, in eight weeks, the winds have blown, the rains have come, and many of those hearts are gone. But there's still just a few that are still out there along that street. There is some actually that were along the front of the, the church and the school building, but those have gone on both sides of the street. And you might ask, what does that have to do with our readings for today? It has a lot. In our first reading, we hear about Paul and Barnabas and the spread of God's word and how they're not fully received. And so then they, out of love, helped this crippled man who was lame from birth. And all of a 
sudden, the people decide that they are gods because they're not used to seeing someone perform the healing of any time. And so they give them the, the names of great gods, of Zeus and Hermes. And yet in that time, they don't fall victim to it. They know what they're called to do. They are the instruments. I can remember in the last 20 some years of my diaconate that when I was very young, I always thought it was important that someone would say how much they had been touched by my homily. And it was always good and I always had this sense of, wow, I really accomplished something. 21 years later, I end up saying if I hear one person say something to me, I thought I've made a difference. And even if I don't see you and I don't hear from you, it doesn't matter because I truly believe that God is inviting me as an instrument to touch just one person's heart, one person's, one person's soul. Just like all those hearts down the street, many might have driven past and never even gave them a note of attention. But I have. And I was touched by that family, thinking so much of letting everyone down that block know, from one side to the other, that they are loved and that they're cared for. Today, even Jesus tells us that our Father loves us. And he loves us so deeply that he invites us into this relationship and that we need to get to know him better and much more closer. Let us take this moment today to become closer to him, to one another, and even a small gesture of love can go a long way. by Christ evermore into his image in their preaching of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That leaders of nations and peoples may be guided by the generous and compassionate hand of God in all that they do. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who are living without religious freedom may be filled with courage through the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those in this faith community may be drawn closer to the Lord in his fullness through the grace of the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That those who have died may know the glory of God and rest in eternal peace at his side, we especially remember Monica Edwitzel, we pray to the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, of our whole creation, for through goodness we have received the prayer of freedom. All the earth and the Lord give him in heavens. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, of our whole creation, for through goodness we have received the wine of freedom. For thine and will give him in heavens. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. By sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, 
for our good and the law of this holy church. May our prayers raise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so purify by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. For Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times of the world. But it is time above all to lodge you in more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices to hold to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commanding himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and a lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, and the land of the people of Zoltan and praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, how on earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, of such apostles, we said, you might be saving you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and riches you have for peace and unity, accordance with your will. Will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other son in peace. You mean not the phone? Peace, I, I leave, leave you with you. Mine and peace I, I give, give to you. you. Not as, as the word gives, do I give it to you, says, says the Lord. Alleluia. Thank you. 